an experiment was conducted okay a magnet was taken a bar magnet it was connected to a thread tied to a thread and a pendulum was made out of it okay and now if you give some amplitude to this pendulum this pendulum started oscillating all right now if i bring a uh, a coil a metal coil next to it what will happen now as the magnet moves towards the coil the flux associated with that coil would change definitely because of which that coil would have a current which will oppose the motion of this magnet and what you should expect is that this magnet would start damping 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 and it will stop finally because that coil is opposing the motion of this magnet right this is very simple this is something we already know this is like nothing new to know to us now right but now instead of that coil if i bring a hard metal there let's say an iron plate then what do you think will happen if i move that magnet pendulum right so this experiment if it is conducted that you have a magnet pendulum without any iron uh, plate and you have a magnet pendulum with an iron plate and both are given the same amplitude and left it is seen that the magnet pendulum uh, which is placed next to an iron plate damps down really fast compared to this one and this keeps oscillating and the other one damps what is happening there this clearly shows that the metal plate is also opposing the motion of that pendulum what does that mean it means that there is a flux associated with that iron plate and that flux when as it is getting changed is creating a current which is opposing this motion but there is no coil there you know how is this happening because there is not a coil there is a lot of coils you can consider an iron plate to be made up of an infinite number of coils all stuck to each other right so basically a current does get induced and how would this current look this current would flow all over the surface right this kind of current which is produced by a change of flux over a metal surface not over a coil is called a surface current or eddy current this word eddy is termed after a scientist i'm kidding no this word eddy means a whirlpool of something a whirlpool of water would have been called eddy current of water here we have a whirlpool of electrons so this is eddy current a uh, a current which is gen- which is set up on the surface of a metal when the flux is changed through it for more videos and live lectures on the jee click on the subscribe button now